Hi guys, welcome back to another itch.io free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have The Isle by Real-Time Heritage, where it's like an exploration game. Go give it a try. As always, I'll leave a link to the game. Uh, good morning. In the... Oh, today is the day you start your journey. Exciting. The first time you'll be leaving your home. It's pretty. Who knows what you'll discover? Who knows? Finish your final preparations and begin your adventure. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and I always appreciate it. What is this? Take it. We picked up a limpet. What is a limpet? I don't know. We got one out of five of them though. Alright, so we're looking for seaweed, seabird eggs. Oh, is this what I'm supposed to be looking for around the island or is this just supposed to be in my house? Oh, there's a thing. Nice. Shiny. Sphere 1. Recover the missing spheres quest. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything else in my house. Alright, move on. Okay. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, yeah, I guess we're good. Alright. We leave our house. I'm supposed to find three seaweeds, five limpets, and I've only found one limpet. None of the other stuff. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Oh lord. Well damn. Where are all the other things game? I like my little hole in the ground, but... Hmm. Can't go this way. Or can I? Oh sick. Okay, cool. Ah, now we're cooking with Crisco. I don't know why I got stuck earlier. Maybe I was just doing it wrong somehow. Now we're finding things. Okay, great. Fantastic. Ah, another sphere. Now, one more sphere to go, baby. <laughs> I got, like, legitimately lost for the longest. That was tragic, bro. Uh, oh, there's some eggs. Okay, we need one more egg. Can I go out to sea, or will I die? Hopefully I won't die. There's probably, like, an invisible border out here. These waves are really freaking pretty. I like that. I like it. I like... Oh, okay. Oh man, if I get ate by some kind of sea creature, I'll die. Man, you know, one of the scariest... I've played a lot of horror games, but one of the scariest games I've ever played was Subnautica. When the big daddy thing freaking eat... Nah, I'm not gonna fall off the map. I refuse. I've done that way too much. Usually I just do it to see if I can, but I'm good. It looks like I can already see the edge of the map. Um... But yeah, that big daddy thing in freaking Subnautica is tragically scary. Oh my god, dude. Do not like it. It's been forever since I played that game, but I just remember that being like traumatic. Getting actually ate by that thing for the first Oh, oh my god. Uh, oh. We're like phasing through the world now. Sick. Oh, am I underneath the map? Huh. Wow. Interesting. Ah, oh, we broke it. Ah, oh, I'm back in my house. Huh, that was cool. I just, like, no-clip through the world. Cool. Okay, back to my quest. Sorry, guys. I like to explore in these... Well, this is an exploration game. I'm playing it right. <laughs> Probably not the most entertaining thing watching me be lost, though. So. Oh, there's another seaboard egg over here, right? Yay, we did it. Now we just gotta find the last sphere. Leave the village. You've collected everything you need for your journey. It's time to go. What if... The sphere's somewhere over here, though. I'll be sad. Whatever. We'll see. I will come back and look for the sphere if uh, it's not somewhere. Oh, well, damn it. Okay, we gotta find... That was really actually short. Good morning! What was my journey? Huh. This was a very short game. I was wandering around like a lost person. It's still pretty short. I'm gonna find those spheres. Just in case I need these to do whatever the spear wants me to do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Oh, a glitch. No! How could this happen? Is there a restart button? I can't even the menu. I might have to restart. God darn. Uh, spear one. Yeah. Let me grab that limpet just in case I have to finish the game with the spears. Do-do-do. Music's nice and relaxing, though. 
that's super overwhelming and and chill. That. No. I really like the animation, like the environment, like the grass and everything. It looks super nice. Not gonna lie, pretty sick. I see. We don't you glitch me? Don't you do it? Okay, sick. The last fear. We've done it. Die quest complete. Okay, so what's that do for me? Uh, let's complete the level, I guess, and see if it actually does something. I'm missing a limpet. Oh no, not again. Not again. Over the... Oh, there it is. Okay. Get the last seabird egg and see if we get anything for having the stones. I don't think the stones are actually going to do anything. I guess it's just there to be there. I don't know. Oh, the egg was over here. Oops. Ghosty! And then we'll find another game to play. Uh, uh, where was the egg at? It was over... Yeah, there we go. Like, I just literally played through this and I still don't know where the things are. Okay. Do -de -do. You've collected everything you need for your journey. Leave the village. Alrighty. We did it. Alright. Well, that's it. Alright, guys. Gotta find another game now. See you soon. Alright, guys. This will be our second game for the day. I'm going to replay through it because when I played through it the first time, the game audio was incredibly loud on uh, the video end. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to try it for yourself. It's a pretty good Sans boss fight. I enjoyed it a good bit. Hopefully it won't be too loud this time. Um, but if you just sit here, the cutscene will play. I didn't know how to get the cutscene working at first, so I was hitting the Q key. But if you just sit here, it happens. There's only like one part of the like boss fight that can actually kill you, which is the spinning wheel of doom. And if you get like a... If you're not in the right spot when it like starts shooting, that's where I die the most. Like a ton. Like, I'd die a metric ton at that part. But yeah, hopefully the audio will be better this time. Also, I wish this was a download game. I hate browser games, because they, they're they just annoying. But it's pretty good. I digged it. I haven't played a bullet hell game in forever, so I wanted to try it. I know all the Saiyans boss fights are usually interesting and semi-difficult. <laughs> Don't kill me. But yeah, you have a ton of health in this game, which is really nice. This is the part that will kill you, though. This is like 100% the part that is very deadly. These other parts are... And there's like, once you get to a certain phase, you get your health back, which is kind of nice, I guess. Yay. There's one more spinning wheel attack, and that's the one that almost always killed me. This one. Ooh. Yeah, see, that one does a ton of damage. But if you survive that, you shouldn't lose. After that, it's easy. But yeah, apparently this is only phase one of the boss fight so far. So he's probably going to add more. Which is cool. Hopefully, if it's still loud after this, I'm probably just going to leave it. Because... I have, like, my OBS turned down, like, a ton for the game audio. And unfortunately, browser games usually don't have a way of, like, turning out the game besides actually turning down the volume. This is my favorite attack, because I literally don't have to do anything. The best attack. And you missed. And a miss. And a miss. Oh, and an a miss. Oh, and a kill on me. But yeah, this one's not too bad. I played some pretty hard Undertale ones from like... Sonic used to recommend, me, recommend them to me all the time. 
she recommended some horrible boy. I think that attack's undodgeable. That big, huge one. We're almost to the end. We're going the distance, and I'm dying. Woo! Okay, I won. I'm the best. Hooray! Take that. You win. Ho 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 ho. Hi guys, thanks for watching as always. He tries to win again. It does keep count, kinda though. I don't know. I don't. It didn't keep up. I guess it doesn't count your other win. I don't know how that works. But thanks for watching as always, guys. A few little short videos, but one was like really visually pretty, and this one had pretty good gameplay in it. So, it was fun. Bye!